Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. In every kiss, in every touch, you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 263, Nasdaq's off 30, S&P's off 31, gold contract down $25, traded at 1806 an ounce. You get silver down 35 cents, $20.90 an ounce, light sweet crude off two bucks. 262 right now, buck 18, 32 a barrel, notes and bonds. They continue to plow higher. You get the 10 year note right now, trading down 29 ticks at 114.11. The 30 off a full point plus 10 ticks at 131.07. And King Dollar. King Dollar's up 494 ticks, trading out at 105.573. The euro out here is at 104. The yen is at 135, and the British pound is at 119 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, first off, even after the lows yesterday, you had the volume behind the move. You blew the B point away. The B point on the S&P spy is 131 million. Price projection, uh, the price of the B point was 380. We did uh, 100, 170 million. Bottom line, that gives you a price projection of 335. And if you take a look at this, this is crucial to really understand how this is set up. Why? Because I've been talking about JP Morgan. JP Morgan's already there. If you take a look at this and we take a look at the aspect of 335, what you're going to see here is that you're at the February pre COVID level. That's 339. So, I suspect what we're going to see here is that the market is going to dig into the highs of the lows um, of March, of March COVID. So long way down. That's really not that far down, actually. It's only 50 points down, and we're already down 100. But boy, those next 50 are going to be painful. NDX 100, three Qs. So what do we have with the three Qs? Bottom line with the three Qs out here. Same setup. Three Qs. You had the B point that was set up out here at uh, 280, $180. You had 91 million shares traded. You did 94.4 million shares traded. You're at 276, 274 right now. Your A to B equals C to D gets you down to 222, and 222 is going to get you. This gets really interesting with this one. Yeah, it gets you, it gets you right down to February 20th of 2020. And we look at that, so you got what? That's 50 points. Yeah, look at this. And we're already 125. The thing that's crazy, that, I mean, perception is always everything, right? The thing is that I'm looking at, I'm saying to myself, hold it. That's not that much further down. But yet, that's because we're already going so far down. We're already down off $408, you know? And bottom line, you get the gist of it. The bottom line is, and I hope you understand what ABC structures do, folks, because A to B equals C to D. The A to B move is a straight line move. The C to D can be all over the place. And actually, let me bring this back so you can see how this works. Because this, the C to D move is also a straight line move. Then if I put Fibonacci with this, you're going to see the type of bounce that we actually got. It was just over 0.382. That's a dead, that's a dead cat bounce, man. That's the bottom. So it's, it's trouble. We take a look at the gold contract. What do you have with the gold? Gold contract went down hard yesterday, bottom line. Right now, we're trading down. We got 150,000 contracts. Now, that's, that's lightening up, thank God, because, uh, you know, I suspect what's going to happen here. We get the Fed tomorrow, uh, bottom line, meeting. Um, there we go. We get the Fed, uh, and they'll be coming out at uh, 2 o'clock tomorrow, um, you know, bottom line, giving us the rate increase and uh, I suspect this gold's going to go after this 1792 that's the way it's set up right now and good old king dollar so king dollar is the number here that could get pretty intense man <laughs> if king dollar 
let me tell you something. Um, <laughs> if you want to go to Europe, right? If King Dollar actually does get up to this 121, you got to loan up on euros, man. I mean, because what we're going to have here, here, let's let's bring this back. I got to bring this back, actually. I'm going to have to bring this back almost. Well, let's see. I've had. Yeah, so there it is here. So watch this. So your next stop, you got a swing high at 121. And that's where I'm figuring you're going. I mean, look at this one up here, 151. That was 1987, 1984. Okay, so hold it. Let me bring this back to there because we got to take one step at a time. We're, that's 2,000. Oh, I see. Okay, one second. That's okay. So here we go. Okay, so you can see how this is laying out. What you've you've had this consolidation, the consolidation that the dollar was in. This is a long consolidation. I mean, you know, so it's built up power, man. And this is telling me that this is actually going to go, which is going to be a mind blower. So the, the top of the consolidation was 103. The bottom of the consolidation is 88. When you, know, when you basically add that up, you got 15 points. You had 15 on top of 103. You got 118. And look at those highs up there. They're laying out there. They're laying out there at 121.67. So bottom line is that it looks to me like this is where we're going. And if that's where we're going, let me tell you something, man. Uh, we'll go to the Euro, the other side of it. So we can go to Euro, Europe, go to Italy, go to the Amalfi Coast, have a good time. Uh, bottom line, if we go there, watch this, I think we'll go to 87 on the Euro. Is that 87? Yeah, it is. Because I remember that. That's, I, I remember when we were doing that the last time, I was yapping the same deal. Um, it's 87, man. So, and you can see what's happening with the euro. It's just ready to break, man. Anything under 105.21, which you're under right now, next stop, man, you know, bottom line, we'll see how long it takes. You know, currencies, you know, normally take a little bit longer, but currencies trend in an incredible way versus equities or futures. And right now, man, the, the trend in the euro is down, the trend in the dollar is up. The Fed's gonna come in tomorrow. And uh, bottom line, you know, go up on rates again. And that's what, that's what you're seeing here. That's why you're seeing that, that 10 and the 30 move so quick. Stay right here, folks. Come right back.